Welcome back to Javon Salah Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. How to use your fear so it becomes an asset for you. How can you capitalize off your fear? That's the topic, right? How can you capitalize off your fear? How can you use your asset? How can you use fear so as to as it could become an asset for you and not a liability? Watch the entire video and I'm explain. You see, the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people and I want to make something very clear before I elaborate right because for those who've been watching my videos for those who haven't been watching my videos I want to explain something right to give everybody the benefit of the doubt when I say success everybody has a different definition of success but how we define success at Jerron Salah Products is not by how much money somebody have or don't have, right? Because that don't define you internally, how much money you have. But rather what defines you is your character, the internal qualities, such as persistence, faith, Creativity, commitment, integrity, resilience, right? You see, because when you have these qualities, these character traits that is internal, nobody could take them from you. You see, you could go bankrupt, you could lose all your money, you could lose your business. These is external, right? These have limitations. These have an expiration date. But your legacy is attached to your character traits. And this is why this is the title of this video, how to use your fear, how to capitalize off your fear to where as your fear become an asset for you and not a liability. Now that I have explained how we define success at Jerron Salau Products, now let's get into the topic, right? Now, the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people use their fear to galvanize their actions, whereas unsuccessful people use their fear or I shouldn't even say use their fear. They let their fear control them so that their fear actually becomes a liability for them. It hinders them from taking action. Right? And when you use your fear to galvanize your action, to take action, to move forward, to go, to commute, right? You been you begin to incorporate certain characteristics that's internally embedded inside of you. You begin to incorporate that into your perspective of everything that come in your path that will make or present an obstacle to whereas it will limit your progress or your capabilities to move forward. This is what it means when successful people use their fear to galvanize their actions, right? This is healthy fear. 
This is healthy fear. This is the fear that you need to make progress, to grow. Because it is through the unknown, it is through persistence that you go to the next level. You don't go to the next level in your comfort zone. If you got problems that's old from years ago, months ago, weeks ago, you should have problems, new problems. If you have the same old problems, that means that you're not growing. That means that your fear is limiting you from making potential growth in your life. Right? And when you get on this level to where as your fear can galvanize your actions, there's a certain sweetness that come with inside the soul that nobody could take from you. Because no matter what happens to you externally that you have no control over, you have complete control over everything that's going on inside of you internally. Nobody could take that from you. And this is what it means to whereas your fear, you let your fear galvanize your actions. You are not controlled by your fear, right? When you are controlled by your fear, you live like most people that's limiting themselves from reaching their full potential. And this is why it is called a 1%, right? People like Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Bill Gates, these people use their fear to galvanize their actions. This is why they have a success. This is why they have so much success externally because this is a reflection of what's going on internally or what went on internally inside them and continues to go on internally and this manifests in a external display of what it is that they achieve while they're here on this earth and for those who have passed away that I've mentioned before right so this is what it means to let your fear to use your fear to galvanize your actions and not let your fear not be controlled by your fear this is how we define success at Jerome Salah products LLC